Hi everybody, Eric Swanson with Duraburb here in Orange County, Central Florida, where of course you know we bring you Duramax powered GM SUVs. Well, we recently started a new run of vehicles that we call Duraburb Revisited. Oh, well, looking at vehicles that were built years ago and you might be wondering, well, whatever happened to that thing? And as I would noted in the first video, you know, sometimes people's needs change or their desires change and they come up for consignment or sometimes they just come in to be shook out and inspected, upgraded and then sent right back to the customer to continue its life. In this case, this client opted to go to a new style Suburban with an LML and he absolutely refused to get rid of this. This was built almost 10 years ago in 2014 and he loves it so much that he didn't want to part with it but over the last two years he's realized that he's only put 6,000 miles on it and it's not really fair he's an avid Corvette guy an older gentleman in his 80s and he loves this thing because he bought it back in 2011 with only 68,000 miles on it he drove it for 100 to 150 brought it to us in 14 we converted it to an LMM with a 72,000 mile drivetrain and he's been having a blast with it ever since so he's a very avid Corvette guy um, has a pretty vast collection and the one thing that he says he loves the most about this Denali is being able to sneak up on C5s because C5 Corvette's pretty fast they're 13 and a half seconds and a quarter mile they run 95 miles an hour. They're fun. I know, my wife has one. But this runs 1346 at 100 miles an hour. So it will run down a C5 Corvette. And he has an absolute blast rolling up next to guys in sharp, snappy, convertible Corvettes and just cleans their clock. And it's kind of funny because he's a Corvette guy. <laughs> but he just has so much fun with it. This has been a lot of fun for him. He's loved this truck. He didn't want to part with it. But, you know, he doesn't drive it anymore. I told him, I says, look, don't leave it in the garage next to your Corvettes. Just let's give this thing a new home to somebody who will appreciate what it really is. As you can see by looking around, this thing is really, really nice. Uh, he's a non-smoker. The car is extremely clean. Um, it's just all around. It's a really, really pretty truck. The, all the seats are in excellent condition and everything. It's just a really pretty Denali. Um, when we look under the hood, it, as we noted earlier, it's, Got a 2010 LMM that was swapped in with 72,000 miles, 150,000 miles ago. So the body is now approaching 300,000 miles. Uh, the only thing he says he's ever done to it, it has been maintenance free, except he replaced the vacuum pump uh, once and of course batteries and then, you know, serpentine belt, upper control arms, front end suspension parts, you know, just regular routine maintenance. But other than that, this has been a very, very faithful truck. Doesn't give them any problems. It's fast. It gets 24 miles to the gallon on the highway. It's a blast to drive. And so with that, well, let's consignment the truck. Give it a new home. Um, he did do these LED headlights, but we have brand new Denali headlights for it if you would like the factory headlights with LED lamps. And, you know, we walk around and jump in it. As we like to always say, everything simply works. Now, it is in need of uh, new tire pressure sensors, which will be installed on Friday. But other than that, everything else is perfectly fine. We've got great oil pressure, drives terrific. 
body now has 296 on it. I got something really crazy I'm gonna share with you in just a minute, the documentation on this thing. But it's loaded, it's got navigation and everything, so it's a, it's a really, really nice, it's a, a, it's a perfect example of a Duraverb. But this is what we call proven iron. This truck was converted 150,000 miles ago and it still runs flawlessly. So it's just a proven testament to these vehicles that if it's built right, you can drive this thing until the wheels fall off. But this is where things get really crazy. He is a record keeper. And so with this Denali, whoever purchased it, comes all the original documentation of every single thing that has ever been done to this vehicle all the way back to the beginning it's pretty crazy i mean things like even seat cushion bottom replaced i mean just everything you could ever imagine is all here document after document after document along with the original build sheet from duraburb on this vehicle which is right here he still has this too nobody keeps this stuff well, probably a good idea but as you'll note you know it had 152,500 miles and the drivetrain that went in it had 72,990 miles and so this was his paperwork when he originally had it built and when we go over here, this is all his documentation on the drivetrain. He has an entire folder of the drivetrain that went into this. He even has a printout of the title of the vehicle. And here's the 2010 Chevy pickup. That's the VIN number, 72,990 miles. I've never seen someone keep such tight records on something. Matter of fact, he even did VIN decoding on the pickup truck. He's got all the documentation from when the truck was built and who owned it and where it was and so what maintenance had been done to it. Pretty crazy. I mean, again, I, I've never seen this much documentation. And this is when he had originally purchased the vehicle. And so here's the actual company that he bought the SUV from. This was who he bought it from, and this is the eBay report, because he originally got it on eBay. And so it has all the history of the vehicle. It's never been in an accident or anything. It never had a scratch or a nick on it. Here's the original title. I mean, the guy's got everything here. It's crazy. It's just unbelievable. But what's the coolest thing about it is, like I told you in the beginning, He's a Corvette guy, but he loves sneaking up on guys with C5 Corvettes because he knows he can take them. And in the back of the folder, back in 2016, it was out at Speed World. And as you will see, he ran a 1346 at 100 miles an hour. C5s are in 1350 at 95 miles an hour. And that's what he loves to do with this, is sneak up on guys with C5s and just clean their clock. <laughs> it's funny. But <clears throat> it's a really, really, really clean truck. It has a ton of documentation behind it. We're going to keep this video on our channel because it's just really cool to see something. Imagine, this truck has, it's approaching 300,000 miles on the body. Now, admittedly, the front and front end has had a whole lot of work done to it. The rear differential has been rebuilt. Um, it's got all new brakes on it and everything. So it, it's had a lot of maintenance over the years. But this is a proven piece of iron. It's a truck that you know that if you bought it today, you could drive this thing across the United States and not worry about it. It, it is a perfectly fine running and driving vehicle, and it's up for sale. So if you're looking for a diesel SUV and you want something 
you don't have to worry about. Just stick your wife in it and let her drive it. Here you go. How about a Duramax Yukon Denali? My name is Eric. Thanks for taking time to watch our video and revisiting Durham. Have a great day.